Hi. Hi. Hey, Do you think it's too, too late to make tea? Well, welcome to, yes, welcome to High Lakes. Uh, we talked about this a little bit um, in the y 2 keyword. Now that it's over the time of recording this, we are free. And I, and, well, I didn't, I kind of chose it because I bought it. But you requested it uh, specifically, uh, Keem, right? Yeah, I've, I've been intrigued by it. Yeah. I blame you. Yeah, just because I know it or just because it exists? Because it exists and you got me interested in weird stuff by Chuck the Y2K. <laughs> but why do you sound like. You're, why do you, you. You sound like you're coming out of like a freaking. Uh, 1999, like, freaking, like, a store-bought PC speaker. For some reason. I don't know. Uh -oh. At Is least it, like, bad quality or something? What kind? What kind? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I just want to start. We, we've had a lot of trouble trying to just try and record this. We've been trying to set this up for, like, an hour. Like, almost two hours. I think um, I think about two hours, honestly. Uh, it's weird. It's been a while. Yeah, you're sounding like freaking... Uh, something like that. <laughs> That's right. annoying. It is. Anyway, let's start the game. I just, I've been on this title screen for two hours. <laughs> Please, let's, just, let's, let's go, right? Yeah, we should be good. Yeah. Is it cutting out anymore? Nope. No? Okay, yeah, so it was just my input sensitivity. Alright. Probably. We got Banana Man, let's go. Ooh. Who's that guy? Can you turn that off? Oh, I can control them. Oh shit! So, have you ever actually played or seen content with Alex? I have seen content. I have not played it. Gotcha. A mechanized, concavity, arrogantly hoists the nerves. The people hark far beyond the jelly. Beyond a jelly. What? It is crystal above cor corrosion. It is a theory. A stride text. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, debases a radiance near the homunculus pain. Are we Thus, in Easter story Island head? Uh, no, we're a banana man. Oh, we're, we're this guy right now. Act one. Interactive act scenes? So, do you have any, like, knowledge about, like, the... how this game was made... We're this guy. Ooh. Like is this claymation stills? Yes. The, like it is? It, it, it is clay. It is clay sculptures, and it is technically claymation because pictures of the clay models moving in this way are done. Your life savings fifty three bucks, and then yeah, that like, is this is really clay. This is clay. Like like everything, almost everything here is a clay model or was clay. Almost everything, not everything. I just taking a picture of and then. Yes. Uses an image. Yeah, wow. like the, the walls here are clay. Like this, this was clay. Uh, that's my model that's is clay. This model is clay. This TV is clay. Other than the static screen and like the little light down there. Gotcha. Like this the effects that are put over it. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure this this crystal is not clay. It's just a sprite. I think. I think at least. Mm -hmm. It's my cat. Gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has my face. It looks on like it. It's, it looks like a child's. Uh, that wait, that was the cat. Yes. I thought it was just us making a weird. No, that's that looks like <laughs> it looks it looks like Garfield mixed with Banana Man. That's a lot of dedication. Though. I'm I'm oh gross. Uh, Buzz. Although it definitely gives it a very organic feel. Hiss. Buzz buzz. I'm, I'm getting hissed at. Maybe you should bathe. No. I'm gonna get a bath. Warm burrito was found in the toilet. That's not. That doesn't seem very. It's warm for the wrong reasons. Very. <laughs> Alright, what's my. Okay, I, I'm, mute, I'm, mute, I'm playing with the keyboard in case you can't tell the audience if you just hear my freaking click and click and click of the keyboard. It's not. Hopefully, it's not that bad. Alright. How the fuck do you. I can hear it a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not as bad as my clickety clickety cack, I don't think. Alright, I'm trying to- I'm trying to freak- I know RPG Maker doesn't have a lot of controls. It's literally, like, directions and then, like, two buttons, but I'm just like, okay, what are the buttons? Yeah, I don't think you can do- well, no, I don't- I don't know how- I- I know the plugin scene for MV 
fairly competently. Uh, I don't know that what I. I'm not even 100% certain what, what engine this is using. I know it's RPG Maker. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna mash buttons on the keyboard real quick, see what, see if any of them there do anything. There might be a menu. I'm gonna see if any of them do anything. None of them do anything so far. So, I'm in the house. I'm Whatever the you do, house. don't hit escape. That is more likely we'll just kill game. No, I think all F, I think all F5 is how you, how you uh, get onto the... Um, on, the, on like the menus, right? No. That's all L five, yeah. Audience, do the audience. I think, I think, audience. I think that's how. Like, try, try, try that at home. Try, try pressing L five at home right now. Right now. To the northeast is the youthful city of that. <laughs> May its fate endure a thousand years. And I, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. But why is the skyline the train flag? What you doing? Acquired a what? Acquired a vegetable. Is that I supposed to be cactuses? Where did ha I, I look away? I looked away for five seconds. I have a garden. Woo! Five seconds. I looked off to the side, and we are now in desert land. Bro, well, look the freaking. Oh, the, we went outside. The sky gotcha. is the sky is the trans flag for some reason. <laughs> is I think that's what it is, right? I don't know. It's one of them. I don't think. It <sighs> Any, so many flag any, any transformed people? Any Super Saiyans in chat? <laughs> any freezes Forma, in chat? Any which freezes one, in chat? Which flag is this one? Because there's too many for me to keep. What flag of. is this water? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, C. Okay, C. C, C is the C button. C character, I Things, guess. Things, powers, get dressed, dossier, save. Oh, I must save. System. Auto dash, okay. Instant text, normal, battle animation show. Uh, I don't want to press the shutdown. All right, uh, return to title screen. No, all right. Uh, dossier, what is that? Wayne is feeling youthful. I have a gun. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I have a gun. Wait, is her name Wayne? Yes. Was it John Wayne? I have mightiness, texture, jollity, cooking, guts, and philo cooking. philology. Philology. My philology. Skill. My philology is one. Our, our guts is dirty. We're very gutsy. We're very guts. Get dressed. My def my, my my deflector is a trash can lid. The lids are mobilized to, in times of strife. Uh, raises evasion rate by ten percent. Oh, trash cans, man. D don't underestimate the trash cans. I can wear, I can, I can wear body armor, rudimentary body armor of toilet paper. It gives me nothing. <laughs> it gives me no stats. I, I can just, I'm just walking around wearing toilet paper, right? I mean, hey, you know, this is already a step up from, uh, from Y2K. The menu is organized. Okay, powers. What power is that? Hypno sigils. <laughs> probably, probably causes enemies to fall asleep. Probably. Hypno toad. The Pro resurrection. Uh, Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it Futurama? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I didn't watch Futurama. <laughs> I watched Simpsons. Yeah. My my flesh is fifty out of sixty-five. What are things? Vegetables and a warm burrito. Revive. Re revives dead ally. Restores fifty percent of flesh. All right. That's really good. And then it heals 50% of flesh and removes negative status is what the vegetables does. I have nine okay, of them. okay. So, we probably won't get better healing items than vegetables. That's probably our healing item of choice. Okay, I have to, I have to press the escape key to, like, back. To press back in the menus. Alright, that's kind of weird. Oh, well. Where am I? Oh, this... Overworld maps, I'm, right? I'm, I'm Banana Man. Dude, this is just giving me memories of when I programmed for MV. Oh yeah, tell 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 the audience about your about, about your uh, MV uh, escapades with uh, Elder Tail. I I made a, about a thirty minute long game in MV that cannot be found anymore because the game doesn't exist. What is the? Oh, I thought the audio broke there for a second. No, that's just the music. <laughs> the music is so quiet. Um. 
I was really proud of it. It wasn't very good, but I was very proud of it. Had he, he, he made he made Undertale before Undertale. He just lost it. Uh, <laughs> Toby Fox owes you royalties, right? Yeah, exactly. Obviously. Right. Um, yeah, I had like you know, like I did custom artwork for everything. I drew a lot of it. Um, it had a. Shit I, story. I, I, it I, had I still want to see what those custom art looked like because I know you said you you drew like shit or you draw like shit. Like it's, I could I could definitely redo it. It's just the story is so bad that I don't want to. <laughs> nah, I want I want to know the story. Like, uh, is, is it is this story time, or do you want to, or do you want to talk about? Well, let's, the let's, game? let's get into high. Let's let's enjoy this story for a bit. But yeah, you know, well, I think once we get into combat, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do various bits of the story. Well, we might because apparently, if you cross this red line, uh, the warp axis is currently infested. The, the creatures fear the dotted line and will not cross it. So yeah. If you cross What's this... that fish dude behind us? Oh, uh, it's the NPC. Can we talk to them? Sing his science far beyond biscuit. <laughs> okay. I will. I will say that I found out apparently this game has randomly generated dialogue for the um, NPCs. How the hell did they do that? In... They they oh. so basically they say something at the uh, the the the. the most of the NPCs will just say random jargon that makes no sense. Like, most as of in it randomly generates? I think so, words? yeah. I think so. That's... Or phrases. I, I have no idea how they do that. In like, I, most of them, or... from what I understand, most of them do, not all NPCs do. Most of them do. Yeah, it makes sense, because you'd have some NPCs that are competent to drive the story along maybe i don't know i don't think this is the far, as, far, as far as i am as far as the farmers aware this game is not very story driven it's mainly just like this <laughs> visual experience yes her spirit her beside pain that's wonderfully that's that's wonderfully theories text okay that's not who is this lady what? i'm sort of caressing caressing it Nodulus, fatal, fatal jelly. Banish my spirit, jelly beside beast. I. It's a trash can. Man. Okay, we I, I just dump the trash can. We have to make from now on. We have to dump every trash can. That's why. I, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> my bad. You punch your microphone. Just <laughs> <laughs> you it. Trying to trying to really. My shock. My shock mount is not good. If you want to use the top? It's gonna to be five. See, you you gotta have some con like con. You stink. Text. Fuck you. Uh, text. I got behind the ladder and went up. <laughs> he texturizes of its juicy doom. So. Those are save points. Nope. You you, sa you save and you you save. Anytime you can save anytime anywhere. You can so learn. What are the crystals? Uh, I don't fucking know. I think they're warp points. Uh, you can learn special abilities from the televisions, which are scattered throughout this realm. All okay. right. So yeah, that's, that's something. When fighting a flesh stash, flesh stash, you must attack, then rest, and then guard, lest you suffer the creature's repost. All right, all right. Uh, chat, write that down. Write that down. The night pug. Pong Gorma is said to be immune to the deadly touch of ambient skulls. He resides on an island to the west behind the sealed door. Alright. Secret boss fights? I don't think so. I think it's just an enemy. <laughs> just because a secret boss fights just because a boss fight's told by an NPC doesn't mean it's secret. My armors ah. will raise your maximum flesh points. Some have additional bonuses. Behold my magnificence. Oh, so it's not armor. It's not a weapon-based system. It's just not. A, it's not a, uh, levels. It's just um flesh. item equipment. Maybe I don't know. Uh, it looks For like sure it take about two one hits. Nah, I want. I want a weapon. I want a gun. I want a better. I want a better gun. This pistol ain't doing it. Give me an AK. Nah, man. We're good. We, 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 there's no kill like overkill. Have you heard so, about? Have you heard about a bleak cellophane? 
can right. sell them. Bad, we can buy bad juju. Bad juju. <laughs> we can buy a bleak. Formed into a nugget for... Bleak cellophane. Turbo tendons. The clerk describes this as a mil-spec biomod. Allows wearer to wield two weapons. Ooh, we can dual wield. That's nice. pretty cool. Nice. I, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what we can wield to begin with. Frozen, oh, God, no. frozen, bur gun. frozen burritos can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. Okay, I could just buy frozen burritos, frozen burritos, and dynamite in a juice box. So we can use frozen burritos as a weapon. Microwave a frozen burrito. Do we have any? No, we don't have any. We can, no. we can we can turn frozen burritos into micro into warm burritos. So I think warm make, burritos. That we can we can turn them from uh, attack items to healing items. That's, That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. What is this guy? Is that a is that a chest? I think those are. I'm trying to talk to these little it's freaking a crab. these little shits right here. There's a stick of dynamite in the box. Of course you take it. It's just dynamite. Just Welcome there. to that thing, the youthful city. I grow the insects. These are insects. Insects. Ooh, they're freaking. They look they're like very us. Gray. Bro, that guy's head looks like an insect right there, yeah. So we're just kind of. Are we? Are we insect people? You think? Or are we banana people? Uh... I found meat. Dude, this is giving me. Vi this is giving me vibes of like an old. Show I watched once. Like what? Max Headroom? Uh, no, 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 no. They were like all clay things. Animals, I think. Clay uh, animals. Clay. Like creature com creature comforts? I, mm. if, if if this reminds you of creature comforts, mm. I don't see it. Other than the fact they're both clay. What is Mount Munix? No. It, they were like Rick Shitley made animals. Like like Play-Doh cut out animals. Alright. These enemies? Oh they're enemies, oh shit. Oh combat? Yep. <laughs> I hypno signals. Get them. Ooh, hands. Wow. I got headbutted. Fuck. The cone cultist. Gonna head back. I'm gonna snap it. Oh, we're getting our head. We're getting our head kicked in. Ow. Fuck. This is not great. All right. Uh, what's my uh, things? Thing. Uh, vegetable. Eat that. Hey. Alright. Sulky. Dude, I, I yeah, legitimately think I'm seeing a fever dream right now. Well, the, the music is freaking insane fever dream esque. It's like a. It's actually not insane fever dream, it's more like nightmare. Okay, so X, X and Z both are confirmed. Right. They're both confirmed. They're they're both oh, the confirmed buttons. Wait, so, is there back? There's no back button. So no C is. I found it. Okay. I won 150 bucks. I was victorious. Yeah. I found meat, juice box, and meat and meat. Not a lot of meat. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> he became bones. All right. Uh, let me heal up with my veg vegetables. Wait, they just became meat. Look, no, look, look, look right there. You saw, you just, you, you didn't see. Oh god, you didn't see him turn to like freaking like a pile of nothing. I got blinded. Odd. Oh, I just assumed that was a part of the environment. No, they're, they're in front. I got blinded, so this is gonna suck. I think I need to run. Cause I, don't, I like, I, I've played enough freaking Dragon Quest to know that when you get bl blinded or dazzled, you fucking sucks. You can't hit anything. I might die, I'm not gonna lie. I missed. 
Oh no. Is there a way of like clearing blindness with like eye drops or something weird like that? No, there is. I just don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't have eye drops. I know. I'm gonna use my dynamite. Kaboom. Dynamite. Kaboom. Kablooey. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 75 damage? It's still alive. He's stunned. <laughs> Wow, that, that, damn. Kaboom. I only had one, though. All he does is blind me. <laughs> Alright, I see how it is. I'm no longer blinded. Hell yeah, good die. Take that. 225 bucks. Meat, 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 meat. I have a lot of meat. Bam, look, you see? He just freaking turned to... Literally just turned to bones. He's still in the game. Also, um, the show that this was reminding me of, I don't, I'm not 100% certain, but the closest I can get is Gumby, if you know what that was. Gumby, that sounds familiar. I think I know what that is. Isn't that what the, like, with the chewing face? Very... Isn't that, like, like, isn't, isn't that like the chewing face like meme where that comes from? I, I don't know the chewing face meme. Look, um, look, up like, the, look up the chewing face meme. Chewing face meme. Like, that sounds familiar. Gumby. It's like the green kind of person looking cookie cut out of clay. No, that's not that's that's from the um the the the, the flushed away, I think. No, I mean it's from uh Ardman films. All right, yeah, I, I can I can buy uh, the bleak cellophane. I think I'll do that because I don't want to. I don't want to be blinded. The bleak cellophane. Bleak oh, cellophane. Yeah. So what is cellophane? Uh, I think it's like saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So curing blindness is just wrapping. No, your no, face it, do it doesn't cure it. It's a, it's a, it is an equipment. Oh, you just I, can't be I, 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 have... I wrap cellophane across my face. Oh. At least that's what okay. I think it is. Because it, it's a crown thing, so it goes on my head. Alright. The chrome bowler. 10% <laughs> chance of blinding targets if I wear it. That's... Nice. Very I'd, ra I'd rather I'd rather be immune to being blinded than have a ten percent chance of blinding people. Yeah, and having um just more health would probably be nice. Too large to be worn with any other armor. Giant metal dome apparel. Hmm. What is, does that mean? Like my helmet too? Because I kind of like wearing helmets that you know. I like having my trash can lid. <laughs> Alright, I- if, if it means you can't wear any other armor, I guess I'll just take the torso shell. See? This is already better, the- the freaking this is already better than Y2K because- well, the, the equipment freaking, matters! The equipment- oh my the equipment God. does something- no, not only the equipment matters, the equipment does something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, we just- we thing? just- we just solved a puzzle. Blind is annoying status effect. Now we don't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah. What's this guy? You can learn a special. Oh, yeah, I can... what if I go to my freaking house in. Because there's a TV. Oh, yeah, that there. had a TV there. Yeah, I wonder if I get a special read from there. We weren't. We weren't the uh, channel can I take, can I take a bath? I think that healed me. Yeah, your flesh and will are restored. Alright. Ooh. Taking a bath heals me. Alright. This is such a unique application of the RPG Maker Kip Maker. Bro, there, there are a lot, there's a lot of RPG Maker games. Like, I have some on the list that I would like to try out, but also, I kind of don't want to because I think a lot of the good ones are ones I think are better if aren't recorded. Us recording, I'd rather experience that, you know, either by myself or just like, you know, you or me doing it. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I mean, I know. Why? Ah. Uh... You learned ablative ho hollow pleather. What does it teach me anything else? Nope. No. That we know weird. one extra skill though. Huh? Hey, what is my powers? 
Guard it guards and heals 30% of flesh. Oh, okay. That's kinda cool. That's pretty good. I like that. But yeah, like a lot of RPG maker games. Like I I, I would I, like another one I would like to try out on here is uh I, uh I, I forget what it's called. It's most like, of the ones I know are horror ones. Like, like I know a lot of the horror, the horror ones. ones are dumb. <laughs> I find them to, they're, they're, they're not really they're, scary. They're, they're unique. But I, I I think they have a certain charm to them. No, they're, they're unique. What I mean dumb, I mean dumb as in just like freaking um I don't want to play the I don't know, I just don't get scared by games really. I mean they're not super scary. The only one that I ever found to be scary was the one with the purple guy on it. Are you kidding I me? I know it's not all fucking, more. Fucking white, white two K. Me, Ami, something like that. Are you? Are you? Are you wait, the, the purple guy. You talking me? You mean from freaking uh, from from FNAF fame? Nah, nah. It was like a purple face of like a weird dude. Oh yeah, that. I think that. I, th I, I, th I, th I think game. that's from freaking. Um, I thought that was a Mandela effect thing. No. I mean, I mean, no, 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 that it that I it's it's a, I I still found that one to be a little scary but like witch in the cat the cabin witch in the woods I think with the forest. Oh, yeah, the, the witch house witch's house witch's house um a few other ones I'm just forgetting the names of but there, there's some pretty solid ones oh, they're, um they're a lot of them are more about the story than scares though yeah that's what I mean like, like that's what I mean by like the fucking dumb like they're not dumb as in like the the games are bad, it's just dumb as in just like horror. They're not very scary. And also a lot of them are anime. <laughs> but then again, that's just kind yeah. of the, that's just kind of a given with RPG Maker though, because it's just kinda of like that's what is, you know like that's the aesthetic that it has not def by default. Ao Oni, that's what it was called. Wait, I'm gonna die. Now you're still up. Use your newfound power, ablative hollow pather. I died. Oh no. <laughs> uh Wayne was slain. Check this out. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Uh it's not game over too, that's kinda cool. Um so, this is the afterlife. Feel free to, to crash on the couch. Amid the lilies <laughs> floats the moth. The mole along the, gal the, the galleries goeth in the dark earth. Hey. What? You can use this machine over there to convert any meat you found into flesh points. So, this is how we level up. We don't get experience, we just get more health. We get flesh, which we get the enemies drop flesh, and we can deposit it in this machine when we. I think I think we can only go here when we die. So okay. dying doesn't really have a. Dying isn't bad, other than just you have to go back to where you were. You don't you don't lose your save. That's that, I think that's kind of a cool thing actually. Yeah, that's an interesting mechanic. But, but then it's also just kind of like, eh, well, I just die over and over. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's how you know death works with other video games. You just die. No, I mean, and no, no, I mean, no, I, mean I can like. There's nothing really stopping me from dying, really, other than just like, I, I like, I, I'm incent, I, I, I'm, I am incentivized to die in order to level up. I mean, if that makes sense. I mean, I like it better than the mind dungeon at least. All right, what's how, how does this work? It makes a pretty sound. Yeah, it's down here, bro. It's more sand. More fish. I found a hot dog in the statue. You just murder a child. No, it was just a, a mito, actually. 
It had my head, though. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what are, the, what are the lore implications? You can build sandcastles on the beach, try using a space bar. Hey, that's cool. Oh, I can trample them too. That's cool. That's... Interesting. That's cool. I don't think it does anything, but that's cool. Dude, this must have been hell to program. <laughs> I think you can hear a TV <laughs> set behind this wall. If I had done, Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> You don't have that man anymore. Yeah, I, I I used it. Damn it. Oh well. Hopefully that wasn't the only dynamite. In the no, game. I, I can buy it. It's just five thousand dollars. It it's five k. Yes. Well, we won't be getting one of those for a while. Oh, well, I maybe, got, maybe I'll, near I'll, the end of the game. We'll I'll, get it. I'll grind and save up. All right, so I think I can either go to like the museum area, looking Since area. We can go to place off to our right. I can either go to the museum area, area or up the mountain. I want to go to the museum area, kind of. In the museum. Perhaps we'll I, see some. I call it a museum area. I don't know where it is. What does it say? Do not touch the ambulance skulls, or you will die. Good to know. To initiate warp, make contact with the gen central nodes on other axes. It's cursing for understanding. I mean, I guess it's a museum. It looks like a museum. I'm gonna call it the museum. It's a display of various things, so... Also, why are there so many enemies in one area? Uh, I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you, bitch. Hip node. I like how it freaking get makes your hands just kind of go out like that shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's a pasty ass Fuck. hand? You do, yeah. A doom spiral. It stuns me, so I lose a turn. That sucks. I hate that. But I can put. I can at least put him to sleep, and it doesn't really matter if I die. It's just that I, you know, you know, I, it's, it's just that I go away. So I don't really care of dying. I evaded that bitch. I mean, dying still isn't good because then we don't get anything from, we don't get like the meat from killing them. A hot Which dog. means we're cannibals. Maybe? Although, are these- do these classify the same species, however? I don't know, yeah. Uh, hang on, let me put- can't put sleep. Ah, no, they just attack with great speed, so they're just, they're just faster than me, yeah. Uh, oh, no, 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 we could- we could sleep them both. Shit, nope. bump game. Uh, we will claim. We need some, like, slightly less... I'm just gonna go to the mountain area, because I'm- I'm immune to being blinded there, so I might as well just try that. Mm-hmm. Alright, just click that crystal because then you go through that portal. Sleep. It's odd that it doesn't just automatically heal you when you get up here. No, I think it does, I just do it. No. Alright. It's a force of habit. <laughs> fair, fair. Oh yeah, there's the the there's that guy. There's that guy too. Yeah, dynamite's being sold by this guy right here. As well as uh, frozen Damn, real. It's five thousand. So I probably shouldn't have. I shouldn't have used the dynamite, but oh well. Water under the bridge. No, there's no point in change. There's no point in you getting upset about it now. So no. It? Yeah, it's up that here. That was odd. What? Uh, all of my accessories turned off. Well, that's not good. There's still bodies here. God damn. Oh, did the bodies persist? Well, there's still... I saw bodies on the floor. Hmm. <clears throat> also, it's, it's, it's interesting to me that we haven't really gotten, like, a... any direction yet, 
really. Uh, like, King, King Gibby is bad. Let's go stop him. Gibby, is that is that the story? <laughs> yes. Okay. We're gonna go kill King King Gibby, or you know, we're gonna go eat King Gibby. Gibby! Yeah. <laughs> Gibby! Oh, Gibby's Gibby's back at it again with his with his. his Isn't the actor dynamic. like in prison or some shit? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. A lot, know of, a lot, a lot of Nickelodeon. To bring a lot of Nickelodeon. Like back for a while. Isn't like, like a, a modern, lot of Nickelodeon sitcoms are like a lot of Nickelodeon like uh, live action sitcom actors are just in jail or some shit, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I know. Um, I, I don't know her actual name, but the actress for Carly at least has done a lot of stuff. Like what? Um. You know, things. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit, they're getting stronger. The new iCarly. Just you know, they brought it back. So, so, so you, so you don't know, man. Quit trying to blind me, bitch. Just die. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Don't worry. In this... They heal... That's illegal, no! Aw, oh, that's bullshit. He healed himself. No, he's not in prison. I know. Uh, I'm gonna die again. Yeah, I died. Well, that sucks, so... Uh... Yeah, this game is brutal. I mean, death doesn't have much of a consequence. Like, I keep my money, my money doesn't go down. And every time I go here and I get fleshed, I just get more health, so... Is it really... I was really... talking more in terms of, like, the... You know, your body the slowly visuals. melts. Yeah. Off I think, your bones. I, I, I am pretty sure that the, the flesh that they're talking about is clay. We, we, we get the clay off people, grind it down, and add it to our mass, I think. So it is kind of cannibalism. At least that's what I think. So it's exactly cannibalism. Kind of. I don't know, I don't think cone heads are a species. No offense to any cone-headed people. <laughs> Apparently this game's not very long, so you could probably beat it in like one or two recording sessions and just have this nice little then this nice little freaking party. You know, nice little diversion. We oh not really diversion, we just got we gotta find things. Hmm. Well Not a lot of things happening right now, so how about you tell us about Elder Tale? <laughs> Is that, is that what you call? Is that what you called it? Where are you gone? What the story? Yes. What did you write down? What what cringe story did you write down? Well, well, apparently cringe. I I'm not. I don't know if it is because you're 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 the only one who really knows about it, and you keep saying that it's like it's bad. Like how bad are we talking about? Because I don't, I don't think it's like. I don't, I don't think it'd be that bad. I don't know, you just fucking muted. Alright, I see how it is. Alright. Well, uh, audience. I mean, the whole story. Oh, wait, right. no. You're remembering it. Okay, I thought you just muted on me. Mm -hmm. So, um. Oh my god. So, it was. The game was called Elder Tales, I think. Mm hmm. Um. No correlation to the Elder Scrolls at or under, all. Or Undertale. Or Undertale. <laughs> uh, I was not aware that either of those existed when this was being made. How, um, old, how old were you? Oh, 13? I think. So 13 or 14. I, I, I can understand Undertale. Skyrim? Or Elder Scrolls? I... I I never I didn't I don't didn't have a 360 at the time either I don't think. But you didn't you didn't like see it on like you know the internet or on gate on on shelves or like people nope. people that you talked to didn't talk about it. I knew Skyrim existed. I think. 
But you know, you but didn't, I, you... I didn't know it. I didn't know it by the name Elder Scrolls. I just knew it by the name Skyroll. Oh, okay, that makes that does make sense. Um, because at the time I hadn't played any Fallout games either. So like the only thing of Bethesda I knew about was just hey, Skyrim exists and it sounds kind of cool, but I have no way of playing it. So I never looked into those. All right. Um, so I was sitting there on my computer, typing away with RPG Maker. M the I think I could be wrong though. It's either MV or A's. Um, but I think it was MV. Um, and I created Elder Scrolls, which was a RPG, as you would probably expect, right? Yeah. Um, where the player would start off at their house, um, would wake, would basically dream dream sequence would occur where they would see like the um uh the land of i have no idea what i call it the world i've totally forgotten but the world being attacked by monsters right probably kick ass <laughs> kick ass yeah um and it would show a few different scenes of the world being you know, peaceful then getting attacked by monsters things being destroyed etc um, and then someone about to be killed by one of these monsters, and then fade to black, you wake up and chop it up to, wow, that was a weird ass nightmare, All right? So, would then be called to, you know, go downstairs by their parents, because they were like a teenager or anything. Teenager. They to school. They went to school. So they were in school ages. How, how many cliches have we not a lot <laughs> there, there will be more too um was he like chosen one prophecy kind of kind right. of i never really got too deep into it but kind of uh more like right place wrong time or wrong place right wrong time right place i don't know right place right time i don't know but um they got called downstairs and i remember i'm now remembering that I specifically put two doors in the living room because I always played a bunch of Pokemon games where you never saw the doorway to like the parents' room yeah. ever. And I specifically put a second door you couldn't go through because I was like, you know, my game's gonna have two doors. Not one door like those pussy ass freaking <laughs> shitty RPG maker games. Freaking mine's gonna have two. Mine's gonna make sense. Um, uh, so carrot character gets called downstairs by their parent, and it's like, hey, you gotta get ready for school, blah blah blah. Grab your stuff, which was kind of like a tutorial of interacting with objects and you know using the inventory and shit. Um, and then left for school, and I think I originally had like planned on there being like a city. That the character would walk through, right? Yeah. But making a city with the assets from MV was kind of annoying. And what? Um. Okay. For MV was. Oh, okay. I see how. It, okay, I see. He, he he's getting he's getting um treated by his. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I was gonna say Mrs. But no, it's not. <laughs> it's Mrs. No, no, I was, I was gonna say that. I was like, no, that's the way wrong thing to say. All right. Anyway, uh, never mind. Continue. Um, where was it? Right, the city. So the city, I was originally gonna make a full, like, not full city, but like a, the player would walk through the city to the school. Right. It was gonna be like two maps. Um, and then I kind of realized that. I made like half of it. It didn't look good at all because MB Maker doesn't have great, like, it has assets for cities. They're not that good. None of the MV Maker's base assets are really that good. So I was either going to make assets myself or find some, but eventually I just realized what if I just did a school bus transition scene because they're never coming back to the city. I never got around to doing that. Because I was like, okay, I'll just do that and I'll ignore all this. Um, 
So as far as the prototype was, they still walked through the city. But if I ever went back to it, I'd, I'd do that. But anyway, Claire gets to school, right? Um, wait a minute. That's not how it works. Wait a minute. Wait what? a minute. I'm remembering the game wrong. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I can't correct you, so I'm going off of what you say. Please don't remember it wrong, so that way you're, I'm not missing. We're not missing. Not it. wake up in their house. They wake up at school. Oh, class. okay. So we went from one cliche to one less, <laughs> one less cliche, but still cliche. It's all right. So they wake up in class by the teacher, like waking them up because they nodded off in class, right? Yeah. And bro, then, if, if that happened to me, freaking in, in like high school, like bro, you get attention. <laughs> so they get told off by a teacher. Classroom kind of laughs at them a little bit, and they go through the um, school. Um, that was the tutorial of interaction and stuff: is leaving the school um, and like getting your shit out of the locker, um, and then you left the city. You left the school, went into the city, and then went home. And that's what I was going to have the school bus transition to each of the house. Because you never interact with the city after that. Um, then after they get, to, get back to the house, um, you go up into your room. And then you boot up your favorite video game on the computer, I think. Um, okay. Which was Dun Dun Dun. Elder Tale, yeah. Oh, so it's gonna be like, hey, you get sucked into the video game. Ah! I know. So it was. I don't know why I did that, like that, but because there's no game references ever made. It's just transition from one scene to another. Okay, two. It's either one or two things. One, you thought it was kind of an, an original idea at the time, or just you know, less thing like, oh, you're on a grand quest thing. You just kind of wanted to do something that was a little original, but still had those tropes that'd so be easier to write for, or kind of plan around. Or two, you were really into Anheims. Uh, probably the latter. Probably the latter, especially because that was around the same time I got into like sword art. Um. Anyway, player gets magically transported into the TV. Whoa! Um, and wakes up underneath a big tree in the middle of the forest and i spent hours on that map and it looked really good it had parallaxing it had lighting where like you could like walk underneath the trees um and like your character model would disappear when you're underneath parts of the trees it had lighting and it's shadows that moved with lighting and shadow that moved with you Uh, you died again. Yes. Also, you literally you 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 muted again. So. Oh, you got chips now. All right. I've had chips. When? <laughs> Always. Freaking! You just start um, you start munching on them now, telling your story. <laughs> I thought you. I, I thought you muted to go. Get, I thought you. I thought you muted to go get chips, and then just came back. So, um, yeah, I was really proud of the map. Um, then you go down, following like this ferry. Um, like it's basically just a light source, right? Mm -hmm. that eventually takes you to um, a river, which went over to the right. Was like a cave that you couldn't go into because it was too dark. Um, uh, down to the, like the path, like down further, you cross the bridge, but the bridge was broken. And if you went to the left, it would take you to a town. I making that town sucked because I wasn't really making a lot of my assets at that time, so I was just trying to kit bash a lot of other like tile set assets. But I wasn't really looking for actual like tile set assets. I was looking for um, like maker tile set assets, yeah, which are harder to find at least back then anyway at least um, like how i how i kind of imagine it is just that like you go on like websites and try and look for them instead of trying to buy the ones that are like here's the asset pack you can get online for like ten dollars like you get on like the store page for like ten dollars because those are like pretty good 
the boss, those cost money, and I imagine, like, for you, it's just like, I, you, you don't, we don't have money to really spend, so it's just kind of like, okay, I'm kind of in a bind. Yeah, I was using all the tile sets I could find off of, like, Google Images. That, that's fine, you're, you're working, you're, you're working, everything you're saying is fine, like, it makes sense, like, if you're, like, first time doing it, it's kind of, it's pretty cringe in, like, retrospect, but it's like, hey, it's your, it's your, it's your first time really making something. Mm-hmm. Um, none of the buildings ever looked right. There were buildings. Like perspective or um... yeah, perspective wise, none of them looked right. Cause I don't know, parallaxing with the buildings, I couldn't really get it working properly. Um, and they just didn't really look correct. Um, I'm, I'm way better at doing that now. Um, but you know, there was a town in existence. There were NPCs you could talk to. You kind of just wandered around the town. And it was the same town that you got you saw get destroyed. Mm -hmm. But this was like before that. Before right? it got destroyed. Before it got destroyed. So like you saw you basically you saw a premonition of the near future. Really? Um, and then you meet the girl that was you know, about to be attacked, and she's like the shopkeeper's daughter, I think, if I remember correctly. And she sends you on a quest to go acquire um something i forget what it was from the nearby cave um and then you go do that it's like a little mini dungeon you're fighting like bats and shit um and when you finally get back this, the map has changed and everything's on fire and has been you know is being destroyed by these um creatures so like the 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 map that had like the town in it He's now like a combat area, so there's like goblins walking, wandering around. Um, there's various dead like NPCs just on the ground. Yeah, you Things are on fire. You got your Gib Gab boys. Um, eventually, you fight your way through, and then you see uh, the uh, shopkeeper's daughter. I don't remember their names. About to be killed. Probably and like you... probably like Matilda and I'm. <laughs> Crystal, um, uh, Chris, Crystal, some Japanese name, um, Leia, uh, Cynthia, obviously, Cynthia, probably somewhere in there. Probably, um, probably, probably a Cynthia or Alexandra or something there. Mm -hmm. It's something that ends in an uh and is long, <laughs> or like slightly long. Um, and then you intervene and you fight the big, like, quote unquote boss monster or the goblin. As a teenager. Or orc or something. As a teenager. Mm hmm. Um, and you save them, and then you meet up with a few other townsfolk, and then you, like, like run away from this burning town that's being overrun by these monsters. And then, uh, you get knocked unconscious. By whom? I don't remember. <laughs> Probably, like, I, I like to imagine that, like... I think it was, you, like, exhaustion from the battle. I like to imagine that you try to stand up to the freaking monster and then immediately just get... <laughs> <laughs> I freaking knocked down my web camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Damn. Is it alright? No, it's fine. It's just, I just knocked it down. <laughs> uh. Yeah, um, get knocked out, then you see that floating spirit again and it's revealed to you that that's like the world's voice and that it's brought you here to um, save the save world it, save the world from the oncoming darkness and that it will bless you with its the last of its remaining power and able to give you a fighting chance and that you have to like go around the world and purify uh, the different like Pillars, I think? Or crystal? I think it was crystals. Yeah, it was definitely crystals. Because the the menu screen that I made had like a floating crystal in the middle. That oh, had like crystals here? Yeah. Um and then that was the end of the end of the game. The end of the prototype anyway. Um then I spent a bunch of time making like the menu, which was like a spinning crystal in a lake with like um blue orbs coming out of the lake and floating upwards. 
I put a decent amount of work into it. It sounds nice. It, like, all, all of it sounds fine. Like, yeah, like, I think it is a pretty cliche, like, it's like, it's like when it's, like, midnight, and you're, like, on Adult Swim, and just, like, some random Andime show comes on. Like, it's not, it's like, that's kind of shitty, but, like, not, uh, like, awful. It's just kind of like, it's kind of sounds like that. Like, it's not bad, especially if it's your first time, it's, it's totally fine to just have, like, ha have, have, have things that you like added onto there and try to, in, like, genuinely try to make, like, something that's, like, coherent and, like, how you've put thought into. <laughs> like, it's fine. I'll make fun of you for it, but it's fine. I've considered going back to making it. Release, release the Elder Tale cut. <laughs> If, if you ever if you finish it, I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I don't care what you say, whether you whether you're commentating with me or not. I'm I am playing it. I, I have to start over from scratch, which is a little. Annoying. Or if you find it, if you find like if you if you somehow I, find, I'm not gonna find it. I you, don't have any of the old drives anymore. I looked through all of the ones I had and I couldn't find anything. The only the only thing it might be on is I have one flash drive. That I haven't looked through because there's like 60 gigs of data in there. And it's probably like over a few hundred like folders within folders. It's, within folders. it's probably in there. There might be a copy in there. It is I just have not there. gotten the. I haven't really had the attention span to look through it. Bro, I'll I will look for it for you. I will find it, and I will I will love it. I will love that game. That was my favorite RPG <laughs> game. It's so bad. I don't remember being good at all. Nah, man. Like freaking Are you proud of it. I remember being very proud of my creation. You should. But it was not good. <laughs> nah, it's the best, man. Freaking, it's it's the best Elder Tale, man. That's the that's for mm -hmm. Toby Fox Elder owes Tale. you money, man. But yeah, that's the story of Elder Tale, right? Mm -hmm. I remember you told me about this like a while like a while ago, and I was just like, hell yeah, Elder Tale, am I right? I'm gonna start elder telling out. <laughs> but yeah, that was a uh, that was the one time I tried to make a full game. Uh, I think the reason I stopped was my kids, my computer broke. Probably that's probably why. And I probably lost a file. I don't remember it. it did. I do not believe you've lost the files. I refuse to believe it. I, that was a time when I didn't really make backups of anything. Mm -hmm. Like either either there was a copy of a flash drive, or it was only on that hard drive that got like hard corrupted. But anyway, L Tales. Um, we might do a video on it if I either find the original copy or spend like a week making a prototype. You of it better again. go and find it. We we are. I don't care. I don't care if freaking two brothers freaking uh whatever fucking calls from the yicksters like i don't care if this channel blows up and we, we become mega poppy we're playing elder tale we're showing the world <laughs> showing the world what could have been had my computer not died yeah i don't know we could have we could have had undertale 2 a lot sooner <laughs> I had so many plugins for that game with NV. I there was one I do not remember. I would probably shut them out if I remembered who their name. Um I watched like most of their videos on how to do things and how to add plugins and they basically taught me game development. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing, yeah. But yeah, that that was Elder Tales. Elder Tales, let's go. Mm -hmm. With an S. Oh, it was Elder Tales. I thought you said it was Elder Tale. Elder Tales. Well, more than one. Why? Why? Why, why is know. it called? I wonder why it's called Elder Tales. Mm hmm. Like, what's the what's the behind what's the meaning behind the name, or is there a meaning at all? Um, I think it's a reference to Log Horizon. I think. Bro, I know why. I know why the game starts with you getting sucked into a game. You you watched <laughs> that. Uh, the rest of the game has nothing to do with that at all. 
<laughs> but it was just that one intro part that does. I thought it was the coolest shit ever, too. It's like, yeah. <laughs> just, I, can see, I can see you rubbing your knees, just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be amazing. Such a good idea. No one's ever thought of this. Take that freaking... Take that freaking... Uh, School Nintendo. school teachers, freaking! I don't need you. I can become a game developer myself. I Who's think there's only one person who's ever actually seen the game other than myself. Desimilin. And that was one of my like counselors. I don't, I don't, I don't know if counselor is the right word. Oh, we have a, a dialogue options. Hang on. Yeah, we we found we, we found. Offer I, to help. I, this I, I, I think I think the name is Desdemona or some shit like that. Des Desdemolin. They're, 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 they're searching for a paper cup. They finally found it, but it's located within the fallen monuments of a desert, I think, or something like that. Offer to help. Sure. You're a fellow artifact seeker, perhaps. If you can bring the paper cup, I will be so unimaginably stoked. You can try to dig for it by pressing the space key while standing over the artifact's location. You can determine the location by the machine in the tent. Turn it on and take a nap. It will project a vision in your mind. Large up. All right, you could potentially get a party member. Ooh. Oh, I know. That was a rest point too. And a meat grinding place, I think. Is this a meat grinder? Or is this a machine? Reservoir of clear liquid atop a pedestal. It's some kind of machine from the old times. From the old times. Technology is far beyond your ken. At least for now. Damn. It's a water cooler. It's a water cooler. <laughs> yeah. Is this it's made of plastic, not clay. Yeah. I will sleep here. Where is it? You feel refreshed. Okay, where's the machine? This is, this is the machine, right? All right how do I turn uh, it on? Oh, there. That's, that's how you turn it on. Okay, I gotta sleep. Whoa. Uh, are we in the mind dungeon? Oh, those look like a brain right there. So maybe. What? What? X marks the spot. Okay. So, so we gotta find mm, something that looks like this, I guess. Present okay. space. Okay. What? I'm a sage of of your brains. I grant you my token. You got a sage's token. Seek my siblings, the sage of computers and the sage of death. They will also give you tokens, for therein lies the path to enlightenment. We're in Brainland. We're in the Brain Dungeon. We're in the Brain, brain Dungeon. Brain. We're, in the, we're in the Brain Dungeon. This is already better than Y2K, yeah? It's more. It's, I, it's more intricate than Y2K. You know why? Because we fights have menus. don't. We have menus that aren't laggy, and fights don't last like a solid ten minutes. Mm -hmm. And there's strategy. I put enemies to sleep before I fight them and then beat them up. And then I pick which enemies I need to f take out first. It's actual strategy. I can feel my brain. I can feel my neurons activating. It's oh, yeah. already. It's already a step uh, above uh, Elder Elder Tales because I don't think I had its that effects at all. Oh yeah, audience. Uh, if you want to know, uh, I didn't really write anything. <laughs> if we're being honest, I, I didn't write a lot of things. I didn't make a lot of projects. Uh, that's just that's that's just my guy right here. You he, he, he just did that, which I'm I am. I am forever like, yeah, that's that's amazing, man. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I mostly just drew. Cut out a lot. What did you say? Ah, fuck. Ah. I'm like close to my Something about a script? I don't remember getting a script. I, I never said a script. I never wrote anything. I, I, I didn't really write anything, do creative writing. I mostly just drew shit. And you, that, all that stuff, that you, you did all that stuff, I, I'm always gonna be like, hey, yo, man, uh, I, I, I will applaud you for that. You have that. That is something that is amazing. Um, I, I think that is very. I think that is very both interesting and amazing that the fact that you've started a project and have continued and continued on it until you literally couldn't. I like that. Uh, I didn't. I never really wrote anything. I mainly just drew things. I drew a lot of. Well, oh god. And, uh, it, I, I always drew like comic strips that I 
that uh, that were I was mainly influenced to draw com draw comic strips or just draw because of read a lot of Peanuts books or Peanuts comic strips. You know the Charlie Brown excuse me, you know, all that shit if you know if you know what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like I liked seeing the little comic strips. I had a little collection of it. Uh, I, I had a little collection of like the 1980s comic strips. Uh, whenever I was like fucking ten, whenever I was like ten, first moved here. That's why. That's why. Uh, I was influenced to draw because of that, as well as just being creative. And then I didn't really start being serious about I want to get better at it until two things, well, mainly one thing, D and D. Weirdly enough, yes. Wow. Mainly just because I wanted to draw my characters or our character, any things about that. I found it funny. Because I always was interested in drawing before then. I, I didn't do it nearly as often though. I drew comic strips. Uh, I, I, in, in, in like elementary, I think they're all gone unfortunately. I, I remember saving them somewhere, but like I think they're all gone. It might be like, they're, they're all on paper. Everything was on paper because I didn't have a, I had a computer but I didn't draw on it. I, I drew on paper and pencil. Because the computer was, we only had one and it was for the office work. And um, it was, oh man, it was it was uh, a, like a, a series of really sh like four like paged like four panel comic strips, like six panel comic strip I think actually, that were essentially um, uh, just like weird ideas. Like I remember there being one like a couple of a couple of them I kind of remember. Like one being about uh, two guys who just pranked each other a lot, but the pranks were just really just like not pranks. They're more just kind of like I'm gonna do this thing. I did the thing. Oh, that's not nice. And they both look the same. <laughs> both the guys look the same. I think. I forget what it's called. I think it was called Prank Bros or some shit. It, it was it was it was something. I did like um, I, I would cycle between like four or like four or five different like um, uh, comics in like a collection. I had like I swear to God, I had like fifty of them or some shit. It was I had a lot. I had, I had like a small little booklet and, and and I called the book like comics with an X. <laughs> had a little drawing of a little guy in front of him, in front of, in front of the page. Uh, another one was like about two two guys I think who were being like attacked were like in like a in like a mutant like vegetable like a war or like apocalypse in their backyard or some shit. And they were running from them and getting, getting like I think like water guns or like actual like guns to like you know fend them off or some shit. I think I think it was that. It was was it a war just in their backyard? I don't remember. I, I don't even think it was a war. It was just like it's like it's like that scene from like Shaun of the Dead where they're like in the backyard and they just see like the the one zombie in their backyard and just like whoa they're drunk and they just a bunch of them come in. It's like that. So I think I think it's just kind of like. Mutant vegetables or like things, just like I think it is vegetables. I think I remember like onion. I drew like an onion character. So like, uh, plants versus zombies, but the plants are evil. No, no. <laughs> they just showed. I just remember. I just drew them showing up. <laughs> they're they're just there now, and they're running. From, like they're just running from them, and then they're like hiding a shed or something. I forget how it ends or where it goes. But I remember that. That's, that's all I really remember of it. Yeah, that was weird. That was like the first one I did when I was like 10. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, what I did do uh, later on in high school was like I drew comic strips of my of like D and D characters that I, that I had. Maybe just cut out. They're they're a lot more like. They're like four panels, so like I downgraded. I, I was I was a little less 
uh, I was a little less involved in the comics. Uh, not involved. I was a little less happy-go-lucky with it, where I just kind of like made a few. I made fewer paneled comic strips, and only like two. I made only like two types, I think. And then eventually, I merged the two that existed into one, and then made a new one in place of that. I mean, I swear to God, I think I still have them too. They're in that like the drawing was like when I was in tenth grade, I think it was pretty, pretty shit. Um, mainly just because I I didn't really get good at drawing until like eleventh grade. Well, even then it wasn't even good. It was me just kind of developing to there. Um, I've gotten better um, over time. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to show them on. Uh, like some weird editing things because it's just really embarrassing. But if Elder Tail gets found, I'll show them. <laughs> if Elder Tail, if we find Elder Tail, I'll show them. I will. I will scour through that tomorrow. Do it. Uh, I, I do not have high hopes, but it might be there. It might be there. Yeah. But yeah, um, hang on, like, I, I could, I, 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 I could go, okay, after this fight, let's take a break, I'm gonna go find them. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, uh, I'm gonna go find them, and then just kind of, like, describe them as we just kind of go fight monsters and try and find the freaking sand dude. Oh, this is the paper cup. I think it is. Is it paper cup? I forget. I don't know. This fight's kind of taking forever. This guy's not dying. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. Finally. Alright. 500 bucks for winning. Woo! And a lot of meat. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break from recording. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find them. Uh, and I'll be our... Fuck. <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright? See ya. Alright, I'm back. I fucking found it. It took a while. Uh, also, that fight. Uh, hey, you know what? I'll, I'll talk about it when this fight's over because, you know, either this fight's over or I die. One or the other. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that, took, that, that took fucking forever to find, honestly. Right, go to bed. Please, all y'all. I don't want to die. Get in the fucking bed. Get to bed. Right, uh, this guy. What do you think of this game so far? Uh, it's all right. Um, not as like in your face. Well, I mean, it's very in your face, but it's not as like you know. I, I expect a little more of a story than what we're getting. I guess. Really? Yeah, I'll expect it a little bit more. How? Like, you know, like a, you know, hey, Mr. Cat, you know, you're telling me to go on a grand adventure to go find my milk carton that was stolen by the great Oogly Boogly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think even when I'm looking at this game, like, if I didn't know anything about it, I would not expect a story or to care about the story. At least that's, that's me, because I'd be more interested in, like, why. Why does the game look like this? But, I guess you see what I mean, because, like, this game, I would say... There's not much of a story other than what it's told. It's mainly just experience. Like, the experience is your is what you get out of it. Mm-hmm. Also, something I've just noticed that, like, any, any time you get back into like the, any time you get into a fight, I think the, and you get out of it, the corpses recollapse that you killed. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm going to go back home to my house real quick and then uh, heal up for free. I can do that, right? I can do that. Also, thanks for telling me about VLC. That, that seems like it's gonna work. Alright, VLC player, yeah. 
You're having a problem with things. Alright, uh... Now, okay, now... Let me... Wait, save. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to freaking talk about... Alright, I don't know if you can hear this audience, but... I, have I can hear paper. Of, I have a lot of paper. I have about 36, no, not 36, like 30, 34, 36, 30, 34 pieces of paper here, right here. 34 full pages of paper. Each of them have two comic strips. Um, each are four panels. Um, I think that's more than my, my writing journals. Yeah. Uh, this is what I did in high school in like 10th grade. I mean, they just got, I had study hall. I was, I was bored to study hall. So I just drew. Uh, now, this drawing, D&D &D made me want to draw better, more and get better at it so we can, you know, do that. Um, and I drew a lot of comic strips because I always like drawing comic strips. I, I like doing, I, I like reading that big date and shit like that. And each of these, since each of these comic, since like 34 pages with two comic strips each, so that's about 60, Eight comics in total. Uh, each of them have 34. Some some of them combined, I'd say. Uh, I'd say the two rich initial ones that I had in the beginning combined into uh, one, and then I stopped writing for it. And then um, I I did another one, and then a final one that I kind of started but didn't. But then I just kind of stopped drawing after that, because I think I, I drew I drew I drew one. These these were really fast to kind of come up with, because I just do like gags, basically comic strip gags. Uh, like I, I'll I'll pick a. I think I I even ordered these to like I even ordered these, like in in my I, I kept them in my little school oriented agenda. And um, I placed them in order of when they when I made them. So uh, the last one is on top, and uh, I I think at near the end I did actually try to write a small like not not like a like a major like storyline, um, but like I try to make like a like a. A connection between individual com uh, comic strips and subsequent comic strips. So there, there, there's an overarching story kind of going over them, but it's not like a, a really much major or important thing. It's mostly just a gag, like a like a kind of just a simple story, or like a uh, something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let, me, let me just pull a random one from here. Uh, I'll pull the one, uh, this one right here. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh god, this art looks so bad. Fucking hell. Um, okay, so how how like I'm not gonna show up, but how I can describe it is basically like. Um, Kind of, kind of imagine like you're 10 years old, or like, like you're 10 years old, and uh, you're just kind of doodling in class. That's kind of how it is. That's how, that's how I would equate it towards. Um, Cause like, I, I, I didn't draw like to get good at it. Well, I didn't, I just drew for fun. And then this is me trying to just draw for fun. I try, I try to do a little bit of perspective and shit like that, but it's also just like, eh. Oh yeah, and then some things just kind of exist. Uh, oh god, I'm not, I'm not even making sense what I'm trying to say. Alright, uh, now this first comic strip is like... Now, why should I ferry you boys on my boat? Well, we just happen uh, to be the haves and haves, super famous and super popular band group. Who? We can work as entertainers on your ship. Oh, really? That's great. We could use more, more moral support. And yeah, I knew it was a long shot. Yeah, no. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of these aren't jokes. I'm really just like, 
ga like small little quips or gags and things like that. A lot more visual because I like I like reading a lot of Peanuts comic strips and uh, Big Nate especially. Um, so yeah. I ain't showing the mun here, so I'm just describing it. This is probably not very interesting to listen to, but if we find, I I, I said I said it. If we if we find the Holy Grail, um, what is it? The whole the Holy Grail, um, fuck. Elder Scrolls. What's your what's your what's your shitty comic? What's your shitty game? Elder Tales. Yes, we find Elder Tale. I'll, I'll, I will I will release the, the I will release my cut. Elder Tales, the Chrysling. Yeah. Cause like um, this is embarrassing for both of us. I I I will make fun of you, but I will also make fun of myself to only be fair. In fact, I kind of I I kind of want to like remaster a lot of these comic strips. In like in like a in like a weird demented not demented but like in a weird freaking sort of way, mainly just because I want to see how they would look now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How would they look now? But yeah, uh, we 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 do creative things. And this game's all about creative. This game is very creative, as you can see. We are creatives. This game is very creative, as you can see, and this, for some reason, made me want to talk about that more so than Y2K did. So, I hope I hope all y'all enjoyed this, because I've been enjoying it. Um, this isn't going to be a long series, probably, because the game itself is probably, like, about five hours long. Five or six hours long, so... We probably do like you know, like two or three recording sessions after this one and probably beat it. So that's probably like what, like nine parts? Roughly. Nine, nine uncut parts, maybe, if we're just like really just like fucking around. But yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for, for today. Uh, probably record longer, but we spent so much time trying to freaking set it up that was just like give me a headache. So we're gonna stop for now. What do you think of the game so far? <laughs> Um, I'm intrigued. It looks pretty interesting. I'm just confused. I think that's the point. That's the, I think that's the point of the game. Of the game, really. Just to be confused. Not necessarily make sense, just experience. That's why the music in the background is like... Mm -hmm. Is like... That's like music you listen to like when you're high. Like, so, like surfer, soft surfer rock that's like played on a really sh kind, of, kind of shitty guitar. But yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I like this game. Uh, hopefully, we record more of it. And when we get, I'll get down to editing this. I can see my cursor. Hello. Uh, when we get down to editing this, uh, hopefully, y'all enjoy it too. Um, yeah. Hopefully, y'all have a good, have a good night. See you later. Bye. Bye.